Okay, part two, we're going to hopefully finish up our buoyancy effector floating stream triggered coin thing video here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we left off. We have our character. Our character can run around. And we have our inactive buoyancy thingamabob. And we have a... Uh, trigger what we want this coin is going to be the thing that we collect and it's going to trigger that effect so all right on the fountain trigger we do have a box collider which is a trigger and let's see so what we need to do is we want to have the player colliding with that when something collides with that we want it to do the right thing so we will add a component we will say this is the coin trigger or coin trigger class here. And what is going to happen on the coin trigger? All right. Inside, let's see, we don't need an update. We don't need to start. We'll get rid of those. We're just going to say on trigger enter 2d and we're going to say if collision dot game whoops game object dot name equals he's named the hero if it's named hero that means we have touched the hero or the hero has touched us here all right, uh, hero, all right. If that has happened, then what we want to do is we want to turn on the a couple of things inside of the fountain, all right? So come over here and let's uh, take a look at the fountain. And we want to back to our code we will say first off let's turn on let's let's uh, turn on the buoyancy effector so we will say game object dot find fountain all right whoops capital F capital G game object fine fountain and we're gonna look for get component we're looking for the buoyancy effector 2d and we're going to what we're going to enable equals true Okay, so if the player touches that, or, well, let's do this. Let's do this. We're going to toggle it. So I'm going to use this caret. This is going to be toggling true if it's zero. If it's false, it's going to become true. If it's true, it's going to become false. Okay, fair enough. And then we're going to say if we have enabled it. So this is, this is a, a trick here, right? If... If enabled, then we want to have the particle system on there. Particle system dot play. What's this play up here? I don't know if I've seen this one. Play. That's what I want. Play. All right. So if I want to stop the particle system, that's a good question. How do I stop the particle system? Uh, good question. Let's see. We're going to use IntelliSense to kind of hopefully it'll tell us the right thing. Dot. 
Stop. Fair enough. All right. Let's give that a try. Hit play. Nothing going on. We run down here, we grab the coin. Bing. And look. Excellent. How do I turn it off? Let's see. Run, 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 run. Uh, okay. Come back here. Oop. And it gets turned off. <laughs> That's interesting. Normally. Ah, well, here's a here's a funny thing. What's happening here? is that there is a collider associated with this, right? This is the collider, the box collider that the fountain uses. And it is assuming that it's okay to be grounded if you're touching that collider. Hmm, so we should go fix that. So let's go back to our hero and the hero's controller, and here where we said, okay, if we were touching this, touching, you know, we had this overlapping box. Now in this case, we had overlap box, and we just went ahead and said there. So what we want here is we want the layer mask. We want a layer mask. All right, we haven't set up a layer mask yet, so we'll go ahead and set a layer mask. And up in here, we will say int layer mask. And the layer mask is going to be defined as follows. Layer mask equals, and we're going to negate it, negate um, layer mask dot get mask. Oh, well, actually, we don't need to get it. Ground. So we're going to say that anything, so I suppose I could just, now that's a simple enough mask that why don't I just put it right there? There. Heck with that. Okay. So we're just going to say, get a layer mask that is associated with that ground layer. And you're only grounded if you are touching something that's on the grounded layer. Let's save that, and let's make sure that the objects that we're interested in are, in fact, on the grounded layer. So we'll go to our grid, our platforms, and that is on the ground layer. OK. So now let's see if we fixed it. OK, we're allowed to run here. We're allowed to jump. Come down. Now we're here. We are, but once we're off the ground, we can't do that extra jump, and we can't go side to side. Now that's that's going to be tricky, because now once I'm in this thing here, ah, I can't move left and right, so I'm in trouble. I can't get out of... <laughs> I can't get out of the fountain. Okay, how would I fix that? All right, well, I guess I need sort of a special case. Now, what I could do is I could, let's see if I just made that. Well, let's see. Um, I could make another collider that was invisible, that was ground. No, I don't do that, that's, that's silly. Um, so it ignores that layer. Hmm. The hero, I could do this. I could say,
So if, the, if I'm not grounded, I'm, I'm, I'm down in here, and I'm saying, okay, grounded is false. I could say only allow, I don't want to allow jumping, but maybe I do want to allow movement. So, hmm. Well, you know what? I'm going to cheat for now. And I'm going to say, well, what happens when you're in that that uh, fountain is that you are, we will consider the fountain to be, we'll put it on the ground layer. Uh, oh, wait a second. It was on the water layer. Aha. All right. We could do this. We could say, else, we're going to put another condition in here. We're going to say, else if, and have a chunk of code here that is going to be what happens if you were touching the water layer? If we are touching water. So if we are touching water, then we want to allow this part, but not allow jumping. It's a little bit redundant, uh, I know. Uh, I should probably put this, let's see, let's do this. We're going to be a little bit smarter about our coding here. And we're going to say uh, void do movement. And here's our movement, right? And so here, I'm going to say do movement. And here, movement. All right. So do movement happens in both of them, but the jump part only happens in the case where it's touching the ground. All right. See how well that worked. All right, come down here. So sort of, it's it's a little weird in that uh, we're allowing it to move in that way there. It's kind of, it's a feature, not a bug. So here I can't go left and right if I'm in the air. But if I'm in the fountain and I jump, I could do that. I'll come over here, touch that. I can't jump, can't jump in the fountain, but I can move in left and right. If I'm just touching the ground there, that's kind of fun. Okay, I'm in the fountain, I can't jump, but if I get to the bottom and go, boom! Very nice. All right. So now we've got a fairly uh, convincing fountain effect, and we have a trigger. We could even disable that if we wanted to once you touched it, but now this is nice. It kind of turns it on and off. Um, so uh, that sounds good to me.